Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Zane the Zane's View. I was working on my impact review. I'm actually working on it now, taking a break as I'm getting my notes together. But you know what? After what I heard was said during the impact review, I got incredibly upset. Now I would have been would have incorporated into my impact review and I was considering it, but I thought this is important to leave it separate. I just found out when the Kurt Angle Samoa Joe match was about to happen is that the IOC, the International Olympic Council, if I'm saying council properly, I believe it's council or commission. I think it's the International Olympic Commission. But either way, they have just decided in the last couple of days to eliminate one of the Olympic events from the Summer Games. And the one they decide to limp, uh, to limit, it's upsetting. That's why I'm botching so much. Look, you can say a lot about pro wrestling, but pro wrestling originated from actual, legitimate, technical amateur wrestling. Now, this has been around for a very long time. It's been around for more than three to four thousand years. Wrestling, and now they decided they want to eliminate it. Because of ratings. Ratings. One of the first matches that was held in the first Olympiad. One of the first. They had the javelin. They had the wrestling. They did a marathon to commemorate what happened at the city of Marathon. I cannot believe that the Olympic Committee or Council or whatever you want to call it has decided to essentially eliminate an event because they want to save a couple of extra dollars. Because that's what it comes down to. It's not the point that not many people go to that particular event and does it. There's a whole bunch of events that are done over a week's time. 26 events. So for the people at home, in any part of the world, who may be watching it for the first time and say, I want to do that when I grow up. I want to do that when I get older. I know I can do that. I want to honor my country, honor my people for actually participating in those games to represent Italy, France, America, Soviet Union, Africa. Don't get it. This is the most stupidest thing they can do. They want to eliminate that because people thought that it was um, not the triathlon, but the pedathlon or pedathlon, I can't pronounce it properly, which is supposed to have water polo and another couple of events all mixed in together. You will throw away the foundation of the Olympics, one of the major foundations of the Olympics, which mainly understand the reason the Olympics was created wasn't just to promote cities back during the Roman time and the Greek, no, actually not Greek, Roman, sorry, Greek time. But the thing is this, it was used to train soldiers in friendly competition, but it was also to show honor to your city state. That's how it used to be in Greece. Greece had city states. It's similar to what we have like states in the United States. They're all made up a whole but they were all separate. That's why they were called city-states. All separate with their own rules and laws, but they came together after fighting one another for so long to participate in the games to try and show more harmony. And now they want to get rid of one of the founding events of the first Olympiad because of ratings. What the fuck are they thinking? I hope they get total outrage from around the world because they should be outraged. You should be outraged in your country of the United States, of America, to the UK, United Kingdom, to Venezuela, to the Soviet Union, or as they call it, the Soviet Federation, the Union, U European Union of Germany, France, Italy, all those different countries, Belgium, it doesn't make a difference. They're taking one of them away to save some cash. Because that's what it comes down to. I am leaving a connection below of the article that I read. It's a very small article. 
But putting it in a nutshell, when you see when they're talking about because of people not being there much and the interest during the time when the, Olympi the Olympians are actually doing their events, they say pretty much now people watch it, they turn it out. But that's only if they do the Nielsen thing in the United States. This is what's killing me. The rating of the Nielsen rating has been most of the time determining what is shown throughout the world. This is one of the times I wish they wouldn't go by American standard. I'm not saying American standard is bad. But under this situation, unless they have a Nielsen type of equivalent in different countries, which they probably do, you can't honestly say to get rid of an event that's been around for four to three thousand years. Seriously. This is one of the founding events for that Olympia. And you honestly want to get rid of it because you want to save a couple of dollars. Because if it wasn't a couple of dollars, you're actually going to get rid of it because you think people are not watching it. Because your rating system from different countries doesn't take into account more than maybe a million people that got the boxes. Because that's the way it goes, ladies and gentlemen. The Nielsen system from the United States basically gives a box to maybe about one to three million people. And they let them use that box. Most of the time they do it for free, I believe. And they let them see whatever they want. But they are watching through that box. And that box determines what is being seen by that family or by that person. For certain, They usually do it by family. They don't usually do it individually. But they mostly do it by family. And by that one to three million amount of people, they decide who watches what. Seriously, I don't get what they're doing. When it comes to it, if there's equivalents throughout the rest of the world and one to three million people have been picked as the rating for the rest of their country and those three million people, when there might be, there might be about a hundred million people who live in that country, maybe, maybe less because each one of those Nielsen or equivalent ratings have to be tailored to how many people there. If there's 5 million people, maybe they have 5 to 10 or 20,000 people who have the boxes. But they're going by that. Seriously? If anyone sees this, be outraged. This is not right because they don't want to waste so much money. This isn't about the events. If it was about the events, they would have gotten rid of water polo. Because from what I understand, water polo doesn't have the same appeal as wrestling does. And I know there's a lot of people that say, you really don't know what you're saying. Yes, I do. In America, they don't care about water polo. They don't. They care about basketball and American football. Maybe some soccer. Yes. American baseball. Yes. And they'd rather see those events be put, those sports be put into main events of the Olympia than that. And baseball is now played around the world now. American football never really got very far. Soccer in America, which is football anywhere else in the world, that is a universal sport. And it is part of one of the main events, I believe, of the Olympia. But they don't care that much about water polo. So you actually want to say it's not about ratings and money that you need to be spending to actually hold that event then why isn't water polo gone or any other type of event that is really considered boring by many different countries around the world? So be outraged, ladies and gentlemen. Be beyond outraged for the commission, I believe they're called, the International Olympic Commission. Be outraged at the members who have made this decision. I don't believe they're gonna keep it very long because now it's going to be done in 2016, the last time wrestling will be seen. After that, in 2020, it will be eliminated. If we don't fight for it now, it will never come back, at least within our lifetimes. So if it's going to be fought for, ladies and gentlemen, you better fight for it now. Fight hard for it. If you believe that wrestling, taking away from professional wrestling, this is an entertaining sport, yes, but it's from an original, actual sport where people used to use it for training and then expanded it to increase your experience as a person. Just wrestling someone on the ground isn't enough. You learn a certain mentality, how to be a much more better person, more organized, more stronger physically, more stronger mentally. You have to have a certain conditioning, a certain intelligence to be a wrestler. You gotta think on the fly.
You don't just go by just routine. You have to be intelligent. So anyone who's seeing this, be outraged. I say this again. I believe they will change their mind when they see such a huge outcry of disdain for what they've done. So leave me a comment below what you feel. And I hope you enjoyed this Zane's other view. Subscribe and comment to my channel. I will be doing my impact and it should be out before the end of the day. This is, thir this is Friday. I have an appointment to go to, but I will get my impact done by the end of the day. It should be uploaded before the end of the day. Have a good day and don't forget, wrestling, amateur wrestling, is one of the foundations of society. As much as people don't want to see it, Greece used that to keep themselves going. To train their people how to protect themselves and keep them from being taken over by the Persians. That's one of the things they did. Take care, ladies and gentlemen.